Hello, my name is Jim, and this is your Daily Brogue for June the 3rd, 2021. And what do we find today in the Dungeons of Doom? Well, not so much, really. Well, there's some stuff on the other side of this lake. We have just uh, some empty stuff. Let's see what's up there. We've got a tan potion. Oops. And a Nidge Nuggle Irma. It's a scroll, Nidge Nuggle Irma. It's a bestseller, by the way. Um, and I just found a Nuglowoos Nerlofa. So, you might notice that there's some similarities there. Uh, Ganga Nanny Nidge. Ganga, yeah. But if you look at these um, names for the, oops, the self range. It doesn't look like there's anything there. It's just a cool and jackal. Look like the names of these scrolls. You know, they change every game, right? That's what that's what makes roguelike roguelikes so great. And what makes them so repeatable, right? Is the fact that you have so many um Sort of random elements in the game so the whole game is procedurally generated um the easiest thing in the game for procedural generation are these potions we've got a tan and a scarlet potion and tan last time was let's say strength and the scarlet last time was caustic gas let's say so now when i try them this time it's their telepathy instead of strength and um, fire immunity instead of caustic gas. So, that particular part of the game changes just a little bit. Now, that's not that's sort of the easiest way, and you have something that's a little, and that's not really too procedural, that's really just random, right? Random versus procedural, they're not exactly the same thing. But you start to get something a little more procedural when you get into the... Um, And get into those scrolls and so now not only are the scrolls randomized we were just saying that it looked like you know there's a something right there no need to fight that jackal okay. i can equip javelins Okay, let's see what happens. How many javelins do I have? Ten? Okay, I hadn't done that before. Ooh, there are some axes. Well, let's wait until we get the axe identified then maybe we'll play stupid with the javelins um let's see so we have a little bit of procedural generation Oops. okay good 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 we have a little bit of procedural generation with the um Transmit versus Guardian Charm. You know, wisdom, no. One polymorphia. So. Um, so, with the scrolls, we have a little bit of procedural generation. Right? So, what do I mean by we have a little bit of procedural generation? Well, not only do we have different names for them, these names here, they contain like these little syllables, nuglo, right? Or little elements, nuglo, um, nidge, 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 nidge. 
and nur loaf nur nur. So these different syllables get put together in different ways, sometimes with a space, sometimes not. So that they sound sort of like a, a um, randomized language. And you say, well, why would anybody have a randomized language? Well, you know, Tolkien spent a lot of time figuring out what his languages were in his novels, right? But all the false Tolkien's, all the people who made crappy Tolkien-esque novels afterwards, and I shouldn't say that, some of those crappy Tolkien-esque novels were much better than fantasy novels coming out today. Um, those guys um, would just make up random sounding names. That's still pretty common for science fiction and fantasy, for people just to sort of make crap up and you're supposed to pretend it sounds like it could have been real, right? Uh, just look at, you know, Klingon, right? Or something like that. Just completely bullshit things. Um, compared to, of course, you know, somebody who took some time designing what they were doing. So, um, so on top of the randomness for the, you know, little sub game, identify my scrolls, you have the random, you have something else that's random, but it's sort of procedural and it puts something together. Another couple of things that are random, kind of procedural, are, uh, Item placement, you know, like this axe, it's probably just a normal everyday axe, right? The kind you get at the um, hardware store or your dungeonware store, right? Um, but it could be cursed. It was not cursed. And it could be um, a nice good axe as well, right? So could have useful and interesting properties. Um, let's try some potions. Oh, life. Oh, get rid of my hallucinations. Good. There's another axe, so that axe could be completely different. Okay, my other axe, this axe is a plus two axe, so it's probably better than that other axe. Um, whatever floats your bloat. Um... So that's still random. Uh, the placement in the dungeon is random. Okay, so there has to be a key around here somewhere. Let's look over. What kind of trap is this? Is this oops? I fall to my death. Oh, not quite my death, but close enough. Levitation. 
I'll grab you. And it was otherwise useless. Um, orange is strength. And I, oh man, I better not push my luck right. Oh, this is hard. So, I somehow have to identify all of the bad ones. I haven't had any bad ones. Cause I'm, so I've got like a three quarters chance of a horrible thing happening anytime I use one of these. Um, potions. So I mean, I'm marginally in trouble. Oops. Now. Okay. Regeneration, fire immunity, charm, one of teleportation, regeneration. So now back down. Oops, there was something good there. I don't know if it's good or bad, but there was something in there. Now, I'm hungry, I'll eat a mango. And retrieve my dart. Okay, so that was useful. Getting whatever that was. Wandering dude. Crimson and violet. So this is kind of dumb, but I will drink that, okay, in case it's bad. That is... So that will hopefully have... gotten rid of those goblins. So like I said, that's stupid. Okay, it's recharging. It's not so great. Um, H is identify. Wands are best for that. Empowerment. So I can have a super goblin if I want. Um, e is aggravate monsters. Have anything? Not really. I do have a wand of empowerment, so I will power up that guy and sit here. <laughs> Hopefully, whatever decides to come by, which may be nothing. Okay, see, watch my self range come back. Okay, so well, that's probably enough to
Okay, so we've talked about a couple of things now. Um, the scrolls, uh, the potions. So the potions are just random, randomly um, signed things. Scrolls get a little more procedural. So that is on top of the identification game. There's a, sort of a procedural sort of full language for these scrolls. And this full language uh, is something that gives Brogue a little bit of character, right? And let's see. Then we said that each of our items, let's do some more identification. So each of our items, protect weapon, good. Um, so that guy's protected. I think I is enchanting. Okay, so now that now my comment sort of skills are going to be a little bit better. So the weapons are not just weapons, but the items have uh, possibly random abilities, um, random strengths, and um, random placement. So those are the three things that are sort of procedural about that. And then the same thing goes with the Why does he want to kill that so bad? This goblin is an atheist. I don't know. Can I name the dude? I don't think I can name my. I don't think I can name my goblin. This guy just really wanted to uh, attack. that totem, so whatever they did to him, maybe he was a heretic. This is the goblin heretic. And um, okay, sanctuary. This looks like it's a dead end in the dungeon, though. So, however, that makes it a safe place to. Okay. Oh, I wanted to test some things, but of course, the big thing uh, that sort of ruins this a little bit. So I said, you know, let's hide behind these things too. Um, do the testing. So in just case the summon monsters ends up being one of these guys, then See my goblin? Where's my goblin? Right there. The acid moon. It's a good goblin ally. Let's try E anyway. Mapping.
it's still less than 30%. Another scroll of magic mapping. Ah, crap. Let's throw N. That didn't work. Throw Q Cyan. Creeping Death. Come on, dude. This way. Okay, so at least... How am I doing? Creeping death is contained. I need to get the hell out of there. And a portion of life. Man, that sucks.